I really outdid myself on this one. This nourish bowl, balance bowl, Buddha bowl, whatever you want to call it, is incredible. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to make it. But in the meantime, I'm going to shovel some of this in before I do. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Stasia and today I'm going to be showing you just how easy it is to whip your dinner together or any meal for that matter in under 10 minutes. Now this is assuming that you already have your starches prepped, which is something that I scream from the mountaintops when following a whole food plant-based diet because it just saves you a ton of time, especially when you're hungry. So today's deliciousness is actually Moroccan inspired. For those of you who have been following me for a while, you might recall at some point me saying that I have married a Moroccan man, a very handsome Moroccan man. And so today's balance bowl is Moroccan inspired using some of the spices and such that I often see my husband using. It's so good that I'm literally sneaking bites in between these clips, like seriously that good. <laughs> and like almost all of my recipes, super simple ingredients, probably a lot of the ingredients you already have in your kitchen right now. And speaking of recipes, if you are in need of some more oil-free recipes in general or some oil-free sauces and dressings, which, you know, I say it and I'll say it again, the dressings and the sauces are what bring our meals to a level 10. So if you're in need of either of those, then all of my weight loss recipe eBooks are on sale right now at 65% off. So, Take advantage of the sale. The link will be in my description box below and go check it out. And one interesting little thing about this balance bowl in particular is you really don't miss the oil because there is so much flavor going on. How can you? Seriously, I just can't wait for you guys to try this out. Okay, so to start this recipe, I'm going to get the potatoes ready. I did have some prepped earlier in the morning, but use them as hash browns. So I'm just setting them in my instant pot and letting those cook. So here in the pan, as you can see, I have my veggies all ready to go. That's just a bag of pre-packaged coleslaw, some shredded carrots, garlic, onions, and frozen broccoli and cauliflower. I always try to keep it as simple as possible. If it can come pre-washed and chopped out of a bag, then even better. So here I'm just adding a few splashes of water. Be sure to not add too much water. And here I'm just adding a few splashes of some soy sauce. I love adding soy sauces when I am pan frying some veggies I don't know it just adds a nice level of you know salty flavor as well as giving it that kind of nice browned color that we get when we're cooking with oil either way for both reasons it makes it absolutely delicious so here I'm just covering up those veggies to let them sweat down a bit that is the biggest tip when cooking veggies without using any oil and here I'm just adding a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Nothing too crazy at this point as far as spices go, because as you'll see later in the recipe, a lot of the flavor will be coming from there. So from this point on, I basically just kept an eye on it just to make sure that they weren't overcooking. And when you're not cooking with oil, you always want to make sure that you have enough liquid at the bottom of the pan. Otherwise, they will start to burn quite easily. So I just basically kept an eye on those, covered it up some more. And then this is what it looked like when it was done. So as you can see, it cooked down quite a bit, but they are ready to go. Okay, so now we're going to get the chickpeas ready. Now you can use them straight out of a can, but in my case, I already had some prepped in my freezer. I always prefer to use my Instant Pot beans, but that's just my preference. So here I'm just throwing some in a pot, throwing some water on it, and I'm just going to warm them up. So while the chickpeas and the potatoes are getting ready, I am going to whip up the dressing for this bowl. So this is also Moroccan inspired and absolutely delicious. So there's no added fat to this and I think you will find it very flavorful. So basically I'm just using two oranges, some cumin, again the recipe, exact recipe will be in my description box below, as well as a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and to keep it really authentic to the Moroccan culture, I'm going to be using one and a half dates to sweeten this dressing. This recipe can actually be found in my 30 oil-free sauces and dressings. I just slightly tweaked it by adding the dates, so that part is actually optional, but I find that the dates really thicken it up nicely as well as make it a little bit more sweet. So there you have it. After it's all blended up, your dressing is ready to go. After making it, I thought a little added cinnamon on top would have been perfect. 
Okay, so now it's time to prep the potatoes. So these were actually cooked and then cooled before I got started. So as you can see, I actually didn't need that last potato. So I ended up just using the two and chopped them into equal bite-sized pieces. And now it's time to bring on the flavor. So I'm just adding some cumin, some sweet paprika. You can use regular paprika as well and some lemon juice. So that's basically it. Give it a good stir. You can add some salt and pepper to taste, but that is ready to go. Okay, and next we're going to season those chickpeas. So these are fine to season straight out of the pot while they're still nice and warm. So here I'm just adding again some cumin, some of that paprika, as well as some garlic salt, and then a little bit of water just to be able to mix those spices all over the chickpeas. So give it a good stir, and again, those are ready to go. And now it's time to put this balance bowl together. So I'm just going to stop talking at this point and let you guys watch the magic happen. Oh my goodness, yum. So here I just wanted to show you how I actually used all of those vegetables in that pan. I mean, that's a lot of food. And this is a very low calorie dense meal. So that's the part that just blows my mind. When you omit the oil, you are saving so much on the calories alone. And then when you fill up one of these bowls with a lot of lower calorie dense vegetables, then you're able to eat so much delicious food without paying the price calorically. And here I'm just drizzling that delicious orange date dressing on top. When I tell you that this balance bowl is full of flavor, I am not lying. So you can add as much or as little of this dressing as you want. I mean, the other food is flavorful even on its own. But again, those dressings just take it to a level 10. So as you can see, there's still quite a bit left. And you see how that date just really thickens up that dressing so nicely. So here it is. This is my delicious Moroccan inspired balance bowl. I'm telling you, it is one of my favorite. If you are looking for more oil-free, whole food plant-based recipes, don't forget that all my books are on sale. Link is in the description, as well as hit that subscribe button to follow along for more recipes like today. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. We will see you in the next one.